today's ride is the EW72 48 volt fast mobility scooter taking it out for a ride in snow conditions when you get a scooter you're gonna want to ride it in a variety of situations and where I live that includes the snow when I bought this scooter I didn't know how it would do in the snow but I'm gonna show you today let's give it a rip let's see what it can do Good luck. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm riding across grass and snow here. I don't know about this hill. I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm full throttle. 100%. We'll do it. It'll do it. And I am turned up 100%, 100%. But it'll do it. It's amazing. Yeah, I don't think I have another mobility scooter that will do this. Right by me, once I look at my tracks, it's killing the battery. Anyway. Pretty cool. So I'm under 200 pounds. 190. Your results may vary. Let's go down here and see if they haven't plowed this parking lot. Part of it. Oh, donut right now. Because I know the donut crew is out. Yeah. I'm not first to the party. But I'm not. Let's see what we can do. I've tried this before. Donuts in the parking lot. Yeah. I think they are laughing at me. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Here we go. Park left. Nice. One of the things about riding mobility scooters, you're going to have a lot of different conditions to ride. It. And that's the thing. I think sometimes, you know, when you look at scooters that are for sale, you see them being driven on hard, flat surfaces. 
And when you ride a mobility scooter in the real world, it's not just that. It is that, but it's more. It's a little rattling. So it's the more that you're paying for, you know. You can get a simple scooter that's inexpensive, and as long as you are riding it around stores, or around your flat level house, you're all good. But if you're like me, and I think a lot of you are, you wanna get out and do things, and get your scooter out in the world. And when you do, you're gonna encounter things that don't show up in the brochure. Salespeople aren't gonna talk to you about. Like this. My nose itches. And I can't break it. Ah, yeah. Oh. One thing I like about riding in the winter is nobody's around. I think I got this place in itself today. And I'm bundled up. I'm wearing my winter outfit, so at 40 degrees or below, I wear thermal pants, thermal underwear pants, t-shirt, shirt, a mid jacket. In my down jacket, I wear snowboard pants, some nice clean boots, some neck warmer, with gloves. I usually wear my Burton gloves, and they're super warm, but these are my riding gloves. These actually are. But how about you? Get a little. Get a little over here. But how about you? Would you like to go out and ride on a day like this? Have an adventure on your scooter? This one can do it. You're going to have to, you know, wash it off and take care of it. Be careful. But, you know, really, what you have to look out for. Your electronics up here, the controls. You wanna keep those reasonably dry. And then, you know, underneath the scooter, this is all covered. So the controllers up here, batteries, they have a solid connection. That's not too much of a worry. Anyway, works good. Works good in the outside, works good in the snow.